Okay, so it didn't quite, uh, it just finished, and I couldn't quite get it all in there. You can see it's quite a bit uh, cleaner than what it was. I'll scrub it out in the sink a little bit more. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and flip it over, clean the other side up, get it in as much of the solution as I can. And we'll get that going for another uh, cycle. And... That's done. I'll take this over to the sink. We'll scrub it off with a uh, with a brass wire brush. Uh, get it as clean as possible, and then we'll kind of buff it up, and uh, we can make that look like new again. Okay, so I just got it out of the ultrasonic cleaner. It's a lot cleaner than what it was. It's still pretty dirty though. So what I do basically then is just rinse it off good. Um, I've got a uh, brass bristle brush. I'll give it a little quick brush with that. The brass is good because it's not going to scratch into the uh, steel, but it gives it a good aggressive cleaning. You hit the back side. The ultrasonic cleaning will uh, loosen up any of the, the grime uh, that's on the uh, part. Um, of course, I'm going to go to the old standby, the bleach white. This stuff is uh, some of the best thing to use on pinball uh, Goop I found. Goop's a technical term. So, cleaning this stuff off as best I can with the bristle brush, with a uh, brass bristle brush. Try and get most of the dirt off before I start working the metal. It's not going to be 100%, but I'm going to get as much of it as I can. And that's probably about as good as I'm going to be able to get this with just cleaning it. So, let me rinse that off really good. And the next step then, after we rinse this off, is we're going to clean it up now. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just... Uh, clean out some of this stuff um, basically I've got a buffing wheel Harbor Freight again 6 inch 3600 RPM buff wheel pretty cheap um, I'm using black polishing compound on this side I've got gray on this side black is more aggressive so we'll start with the black whoops let me plug that in so We'll start with the black because it's a little more aggressive. Basically, all you got to do is put a little bit of this on the pad. Okay? You want to work on the bottom edge. But what I'm doing right now, you can see how dirty that was, and you can see how it's taking the dirt right off from that thing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start working this, getting the I'm going to try, ooh, it's hot. I'm going to try buffing the dirt off. Now, I don't typically use gloves while I'm doing this because I don't want them to catch. But, uh, you know, I think I'm going to this time because it's getting pretty hot. I know people say you shouldn't be wearing gloves when you're working with uh, machines, but when I'm buffing, a lot of times I'll wear gloves just because the material gets hot. And I'm not too concerned about getting too caught up in it. Okay, you got to be careful when you're getting into a leading edge like that, because it can catch just like that. But basically all I'm doing here is I'm buffing the dirt, polishing the dirt off on the edge of this stuff. And when I'm good, I'm going to go this direction, which I don't always do, but I want to get that dirt out of that edge. So I'll do the best job I can out there. Now I may have to refinish this a bit more. As you can see that's already polishing up pretty good. Take this side. Don't forget to get the edges. See it's polishing that dirt right off. And uh, it's going to end up giving this thing a really nice look. Oops, got a little too aggressive there. So you want to stop your wheel. You see, it's 
starting to get cleaner. Now, it's okay to go different directions as you're polishing because that way you're going to get, I'll finish it all one way, but you can see it's already starting to polish out. And I will use a rags a lot of times to just wipe off some of the compound, see how I'm doing, but you can see already what a massive difference that's making, okay? So, I've got some ball guide wear here. So one of the things you can do, um, I've still got my fine wheel on this. So, if I wanna clean that up, I'll just clamp it in the vise here. Let me move it down a little bit, just so it's not in the way. I'll start over here, I guess. And you can sand this. And you can sand out the warm places. Now, this isn't going to, this is, uh, this is actually rougher than what I'm buffing with in that buffing compound. So I'll have to go back and rebuff it and buff these lines out. But, you know, I, you can see that it's taking a lot of those ball marks right out of this. So now that I cleaned it up a little bit, I'm not grinding that dirt into what I sanded. And you can see that it's getting most of that, most of that stuff right out of there. And I'll go back when I get done here and we'll repolish it again. But you'll see that this is going to do a great job at cleaning up the wear in this side. And I got it, whoops, see I got on that back edge, that's what happened. You have to be careful not to get on that back edge. And you can see that it's, oh, did it again. You can see it's cleaning that up nicely though. And then, you know, it's sanding out some of that, uh, some of that ball wear out of this thing. And basically, now I can go back over here, put a little more rouge on, don't need a lot. And then what I'll do is I'll just work it. Now, you see I'm pulling it away. That's a little more aggressive way if you're pulling it back. I found that, that start here and pull it back is gonna buff a little bit more aggressively. And what I'll usually do is, I'll usually buff fairly aggressively when I start. I'll also cross, cross buff it, get some of those uh, lines out. And boy, that's getting hot. I can feel it right through the glove. But what I'm doing right now is I'm polishing out all of those lines that I made with the sandpaper. Whoop. And I don't have this tied down to the bench either, so that's kind of bad, but you can see it's polishing up nicely. And I'll get this polished out and buff it out. I may have to sand that out a little bit more to get that all the way clean and to be able to polish it up. Okay, so you can see this has gotten a lot shinier. Basically what I've done here is continue to polish on the black wheel. I got that about as good as I could get it and then I went over to gray uh, compound. Um, it's a little less aggressive. You'll see there's still some shadow here. That's because when I went back and I used the, uh, the sanding, typically you'll sand this and you'll use continuing uh, higher grades. You'll see there's still some grain left from the sanding that I did and there's still a little bit of ball mark left in this. But because this is not really a part that you see much, um, 
I, I think I'm good with this. Uh, but you can see that it's a massive improvement over what we had when we started, you know, and it, uh, it basically is going to look almost like new again.